Hey everybody and welcome back to East Nepali. Today again in a real time episode. I know I, I said a few times that I want to have some progress but um, we, we have some progress. I can promise you already. Um, what I did is a little bit in uh, off screen uh, in between. I, I just you know I just threw some uh, palm trees in and you know these, these little planters over here just to test a little bit. But there is something way more cool I'm gonna show you in a second. Um, but first of all, for those of you who haven't seen the last episode, this is the new entrance building. Um, I'm gonna show it to you right now a little bit better in detail what I've done. So a few things have to be adjusted still, but yeah, for the moment. Um, the basic idea about this building is, and I have to clarify a few things, because you guys in the comments mentioned a few times that it is very unusual and you would have expected something more, well, something more fancy and creative and, you know, more Rudy-like, I guess, uh, is the word I was looking for. But the thing is, I put myself, and this is a general thing I have to remind you guys of, I think, all the time, I put myself into this project for a reason. Like, I I am willing to do a fancy project again in the future. By no means, this is something I'm gonna definitely do in the future. But there is something about this game I haven't tried before too much, and this is to make a really realistic park. And this will be my baby for the next entire year. I have no idea where we will go with uh, all the updates coming in the future, if there are any updates planned. And whoever knows but you know I, I want to go with this park and try to use the pieces and every possibilities we have to the max to create the most realistic park out there and this means also to look into energy and stuff what I have talked about but this also means that the progress is way slower than with my other projects this doesn't mean that I won't do anything else in general but for those of you who, who like like you know every episode a completely new building this series I'm afraid isn't the right one for you then. Um, definitely gonna plan on doing something else in between, but for the moment, uh, since all the TMT and all the other stuff, this is my main series I'm going to work on, as I said, and I'm feeling super amazing with it. It really gives me everything I want from Planet Coaster at the moment. I am still working on some other projects in the background, but you know, nothing to announce, nothing really, it's just for myself. Um, but hey, yeah, that was just basically the, the overall explanation right now. And I, um, I definitely also need to say that I, I needed to take some time yesterday evening with the help of Crepzone um, to build something and bring it in game. And this is way in here. I'm going to show it to you immediately because, as you can see in a second, and um, the coaster is pretty awfully loud at the moment. Could you please load? Yes, there we go. Um, as you can see, there are already some wheelchairs in here and some other stuff as well. Um, we have the wonderful cash register from Mr. Yon T from Geekism, but we also have a bunch of wheelchairs. I'm going to show you the first one because it's hilarious. Uh, there we go. That was the first, uh, my first ever test to bring an item into Planet Coaster, which looks, obviously, at the first glance looks awesome, but yeah, obviously the size of this thing is um, nowhere near realistic, so as you can see here, this is, I'm just gonna quickly pause the game. So that was the first test, and the first test was basically completely wrong, um, it was also a bit too shiny and stuff, but yeah, that was the first test. Then we made the second one, which is a bit too tiny, um, but it is still okay. The problem though is the texture is a bit broken, so we do have flexi color option over here, as you can see. Um, so with some colors it, it does work so for example with this one but for example if you take a darker one there is something broken the whole thing looks way too glossy um, I don't know what this is but the reflections are like completely over the top um, and if you just look at this one you have the bump map you have the material it, it's still nice and clean you have this little glossy leather over here um, so it's everything is fine but if you go into this one it's a lot too glossy you still obviously have the texture but it's way too glossy so what I made then is or what we made I have to say because we did this uh, in parallel all the time. Um, I tried another one, which then is this one. And this one is perfectly fine again in terms of textures and stuff, but way too small. It's like a little item for a shop or something, like a mini wheelchair. And then I made another one, and this is the final version, which then works. Unfortunately, it has to be rotated on another angle, uh, because otherwise this doesn't work. Because if I use this one, which fits totally fine to the angles, it has the same issues as this baby over here. So, yeah, three of those things, but only one is really working. I'm still... Um, just fixing some issues uh, with the with the wheelchair to make it really a good piece, but for the moment 
we are going to use this one for sure and I'm going to make a little area over here where you can grab those just gonna put this over here for the moment and let me just copy this over or maybe I even have the other one still here no I haven't I just wanted to compare it to the in-game one I made whoops that was not the one I wanted to try is it still it's still okay I can still use it so bam there we go and if I take this one and put it next to it just look at the difference I mean this is this is why I'm this is why I said the whole game will change entirely I mean look at this that's ridiculous it is insane like Honestly, this is insane. That looks like, again, like Alpha versus recently in Planet Coaster, like buildings in the Alpha versus buildings from 2018, late 2018. Incredible, it's just incredible. And uh, yeah, as you can see, this one is actually the perfect size. Um, it, it does seem a bit small at the first glance, but it isn't. So it is really the perfect size. So if you just, uh, let, let me just put this in here. Um, there we go, she's, even sitting a bit higher but that's fine so if you go in here you would have to consider that they are sitting a bit higher in these wheelchairs because obviously um, your feet have to go to these steps over here but as you can see the size is just perfect it's just perfect um, and I'm, I'm just super happy with it let me just quickly grab this one and delete that one. Oh wait let me just quickly redo it because I want to check so 70 pieces in one object versus one piece so that's what we need that's what we want to do this is why we need custom assets look at that oh that is so great that's so super awesome yeah I'm gonna um, hopefully have uh, the flexi color option available pretty soon um, so that's the next step I'm going to do some stuff with but we definitely have to see also some other stuff which is uh, already in oops where did I put it uh, in here so we have this one over here which is a let me just go in this building um, this is a lifting track you can recolor this one it's a beautiful asset it is made by let me check oh by the way you can go into the description below and this is as promised I will do this always um, you can see who made all these assets and immediately uh, just uh, quickly um, subscribe to those um, let me just check can we see who this may who made this in here no, we can't. I, I believe it is from Das Matze because he also made these pallets over here, um, which are also awesome. We're going to put some in here now uh, because I, I just love how they look and um, we could also make them a bit more worn. Let me just check. Um, I should put this one... Well, anyways. Um, just... Nah, I don't want to have... Just bring this color saturation in here. This is the color I wanted to go for. Oops. Um, just redo it. There we go. Actually, I kind of like the idea of having it uh, just lean towards the fence a little bit. There we go. Just rotate it a bit here so that we just connect over there. Okay, wonderful. I just like this bit more jank overall but I mean look at this how much this adds already to the game this is just insane um, then we have something very awesome as well I just found this uh, five minutes ahead of uh, the build uh, the um, recording of this episode and this is a little telephone how's it called a phone stand a pretty simple phone stand and this is what you see uh, in Hawaii kind of often actually um, and still all these old ones um, in, in all these kind of uh, nature areas where you need to call people I think I'm going to put this here because there we have already a cable connection so we can just put this here perfect um, so this is this is already in um, so now we have the autosave still makes the game lag <laughs> and then we have these awesome escape signs I already put one in here just to test it um, it is pretty glowy um, I don't know if the other ones are better but I um, let me just test I guess they're all a bit can I just sorry why isn't it where is the hello didn't I even oh yeah there we go um, I don't know if it was one of those really was looking pretty decent in terms of lighting oh yeah there we go that's the one I wanted to have so I mean they are pretty glowy but they are if you go close to it oops or just like this um, they're just doing the job and this is pretty awesome just, just put them 
in here and is this one part of the building though oh i am still in a building i shouldn't do that so let me just go out of the building and well so if i change to night time by the way this is obviously a lot better so there we go night time makes the thing really shine and this is really really exactly what we need in the game um i should deactivate at some point the uh, uh depth like the, the depth of view um Shoo. Okay, yeah, well, let, let's keep this one uh, because this is awesome. I think this is okay. They're all pretty glowy, so it doesn't really change a thing. Um, but we're gonna do a few little things in this episode, even though it's real time. And tonight, I'm going to sit down again and, and play completely normally and you know, make it all. Uh, a lot better for you guys. So what we're gonna do is, and also a bit more progress, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this a bit over here. I want to replace this wall, um, or like kind of have it as a open wall thing, um, because you can basically then just go to the counter over here and make sure that you get the uh, wheelchair, and you're gonna have a lot of wheelchairs stepped, uh, stacked up over here. I'm gonna also make a one which is obviously um, just pushed together because this is how wheelchairs work. You can just easily push them together. Um, this is what I will definitely do as well so that we do also have some to stick together a bit more tight and not just you know stand the whole thing um, unfolded in into the uh, yeah in the area which is you know we don't need that so this is why I I definitely gonna do and change this also according to um, there we go, I just did something wrong here, but anyways, uh, we can use this over here. So, uh, what we don't need is we definitely need some more pathways uh, and pavement. This is what we're gonna do with this piece over here. I think we can just, you know what, I'm just using this piece like that. Yeah, I think that's gonna work out pretty well. So here we go. I'm also going to um, make some decals because that's something I was wondering about a long time already. And I think decals are a perfect way to um, just make sure that we have enough, like, you know, um, worn out concrete. And if you make them recolorable, they are just perfectly fine to use. And you can make them small or big or whatever. So I'm, I'm definitely going to do some decals. I think that's a good thing to do. Um, for the game in general. I think we can also have it a bit yellowish tinted There we go. I think that's the color I want to go for so let me just put these in Like that and just move this middle one a bit upwards and downwards so that we don't have the Z fighting and Yeah, sure. What the hell is this anyways? Um, just move this into position and then also, make sure to have not the D fighting going on. And I'm gonna do the same once more to make sure it is really fitting into this corner just fine, just the way we need it. We're gonna put a fence around, so I, I believe we can just raise that slightly. So, no Z fighting in general. Okay, bams, there we go. Okay, this is nice. Um, we're gonna have some nature over here. So this is basically like the entrance area because we have to make a little... You know what? We are just doing this right away. We're just doing this right away um, because I want to make this like a... I oh, you know what? We, we're just doing this a little bit differently. Just taking this thing over here. Just move this exactly in here. And just copy and paste this in. Uh, this can be moved down a bit more, so here we go. And just put these in here. I think this could just work the way I want it to work. Okay. And boom, here we go. Oh, you know what? You know what? I'm just doing this even, even a little bit more different because I think we can just gain some more room for the for the real park. So this is why I'm just putting this in now here. And that one is put in here. Cool. So here we go. Um, what we need next is a path. And I found a way to do something pretty decent actually. So if we go and use for example this, whoopsie, what just happened? Uh, this one over here, we can just lower this all down and we can just use uh, this path over here as kind of a backstage path. There we go. Just use it all over here. Just 
easily connect this to this way. Obviously we need to just wait a second, there we go, just really shortly in, in front of this one and just need to cover this up later on uh, because that makes sense, um, otherwise it would connect to the pass and we don't really want this. Um, what we do next is we are going to use our sculpting and our uh, terrain painting tool. I'm um, going to increase the intensity to the max and go and do this. Uh, obviously this has to be done um, also with some different colors um, and also make, maybe use some stones, some decals as I said to blend this all in a bit nicer than it is right now. Uh, but so we can just make this backstage area a little more alive. So and this would be like a proper backstage area over here we can definitely use um, to put some props in, to put some, you know, backstage props in, to make some jank obviously in and, you know, make some uh, also having like the energy supply should go over here. So if we just use our pole, which we are going to do in 3D pretty soon, I'm going to do this in 3D. But for the moment I could just easily go in and just connect this building right over here. So just, just bring this in. I'm just doing, just doing this over here now. So bring this whole thing in here. I just think I would need to. Oh no, actually it's just fine. So this pole can just rest here for the moment. Uh, we're definitely going to exchange them once we have our models. Um, even though the piece count on these items is not too crazy at the moment, so it, it's not that you know, piece that I would need to change to make sure that the park is running properly fine in the future. Um, I think way more important would be to kind of make this one look better and also to make sure that these buildings use, um, you know, some simple uh, piece counts. Also, this one has to be redone. Like if I click on this, yeah, we have like 788 pieces alone in this building. So a lot of details I put in here could potentially be exchanged by some pieces that are uh, made in 3D and or just like either all made in 3D but in the t uh, via the the makers toolkit and then reused in this area over here but yeah for the moment um what I want to do still is to kind of hide this area a bit more away um let me just get rid of this one so we definitely put some palm trees really close in here yeah they can just be a bit tilted why not just put them all in here so the wires can also go a little bit through there that's just fine um, we have these bamboo hedges and I haven't used them so much in this park but bamboo is a thing that you would actually see quite often uh, on Hawaii as well so let me just put this one in here oh it's a big one over here as well can we have also a smaller let me just check okay this is a bit smaller so we could actually use this over here that's nice um, don't necessarily want to use this over here to just kind of fill the place, but oh yeah, but that's nice. We can use this one, obviously. This is nice. Cool. So we definitely need also some more palm trees over here so that just hack around this area so that this area over here to the right hand side is a bit more separated from, from this area over here. This is also why we use some more rocks. And uh, as you can see, these ones are also from the uh, theme makers toolkit and these are awesome. And this is also why I'm going to use this again. I just I'm, I was just already abusing this piece because it just looks so super awesome. Um, but they are perfect to make these kind of wall segments out of it. Um, a very flat one, but still has some really awesome detail. Um, and the coolest thing about these, you can recolor them. Uh, and the recoloring is really decent, honestly. It's really decent. So let me just show you. We're going to make it a really grayish, blue grayish stone. So like, like a bluish tint to it. Uh, even darker, I guess. Um, let me just reuse this one. Now that's too bluish, uh, obviously, but there we go. Uh, and we can just, you know, get some highlights in. And there we go. Look how amazing this stone looks. That's so super cool. I just love this stone. And the best thing about these stones is they blend in really nicely with the in-game stones. And uh, this is something I I really, 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 really hoped. Oopsie, what did I just do? Okay. Ah, oh, the saving. God damn it. Um, there we go. So it, it does blend in pretty nicely. So it, it's really nicely done. Um, even though I've <laughs> I found this stone even a little better than, than the other ones, but um, yeah, you just need to make sure that it all looks kind of neat together. So I, I just wanted to to block this a bit, make sure that it all 
has, you know, if people walk into the into the park, I don't want them to immediately look into this queue area. So this is why I wanted to have this little step over here. Wait, it's not a step. It's it's kind of a little uh, wall. It's not even a wall. It's kind of a little uh, sea watch blockade, visual blockade. Is it a visual blockade? I guess we can call it a visual blockade. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I wanted to achieve with it. This is the wrong one. This is the right one. And I'm gonna like to have a bit more orange tinted color in here. So let me just make them brighter and there we go. Can we just make this a bit more bright orange? Yeah, there we go. This is what I like. Just put these in here because you would actually have a little bit more. These are kind of the planters that are not naturally grown. Uh, these are the areas that are pretty much done by the park. Uh, we are definitely going to have some areas which are not done by the park, which will be, which will be way more natural looking, way more, um, you know, overgrown. This is this is basically how you would also uh, see a park like that because they they will def definitely benefit from how Hawaii is in terms of, uh, yeah, overall nature because the nature in Hawaii is just astonishingly great, um, and yeah, you, you would actually want to use it because. This is something one of a kind nature experiences and you, you better make sure that you do show people how it looks over there in natural rather than just making everything kind of artificial kind of you know man-made this is not what you really want to show so yeah um, also ju just using these a bit more over here just plopping all these down it, it's really cool I, I really like and I really enjoy doing these kind of uh, little things um, just putting some foliage down I just I just like it I think it's really enjoyable in the game uh, really relaxing and also it kind of proves that the game is really still the game I, I loved to play all the all the years um, really enjoyable really yeah, it breaks me just down it, it's just really really enjoyable okay anyways I don't want to annoy you with this like I love the game so much talk because there are still as we all know there are still some flaws in here um, here and there and you know not everything is really as perfect as it could be um, but you know it's a constant stream of improvements and we all hope the best for the game that it will um, continue to reach a even better status than it already has and uh, yeah this is what I at least do oopsie what is going on today I'm just misclicking so often um, but anyways, okay, I think this this corner over here looks already a million times better But now let's spend the last couple of minutes um, On this edge over here because I, I still think that this all doesn't look Exactly the way I want it to look so what we need is this piece over here I just want to tidy this corner up now. And we're going to do this with some pillars So just put this first pillar in and also move this over here just to make sure that this corner looks a bit more tidied up. I also don't like how these things blend into each other. So this is why we're going to use this piece over here as well. And um, I just want to make sure that this looks as tidy as possible. Let me just check if... Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I uh, hope this is not too long, actually. Well, it will be definitely too long. Will it? No, it won't. That's super... That's great. I think we can even... We can go with it um, because we are going to lower this one down one more even because there's still the Z fighting going on which I absolutely don't like. Um, so we're going to do this and we are going to move this one down as well. So they are going to blend into each other but I don't really care. Um, so let me just check what the hell is going on. Okay. This is super weird, but we are we, we will be able to bring this in position. I am sure we will be able. So there we go. This is already the position we need. Sticking out, basically the same amount is sticking out. Yes, we can live with that. This is already a lot better looking. Cool. Um, then we need to cover up this area over here, and let me just check that we have. Okay, we haven't had angle snap. Ac Hello. Angle snap activated. There we go. Just move the whole thing up now. Perfect. And move it over. Cool. Here we go. And now we need a fence. And I want to do a nice looking fence over here. Which is no fence. <laughs> okay. I shouldn't do that. Um, 
which pays a little bit of attention to what this area is about. So I don't want to make it look too shabby. I was thinking of using these things as a fence element, but I am not too sure whether this is going to work out. Uh, so definitely we're going to use this lower part of it. Um, okay, so this would actually work. Um, I would need to fit somehow into the color, uh, color scheme. This is why I'm trying to use a darkish red over here and making the brown a bit more brown. So here we go. I think this works out nicely. Um, so this is the first piece we need. Obviously, I want to make sure that this looks decent enough down here. So we're gonna have this little thing in as well. Um, and we're gonna need a simple kind of railing on top of it. I uh, don't know if I am going to make this... Okay, we, we could look into a thin pillar, I guess which then obviously would be this one. No, there, there should be a lower one of this piece. Where is it? Where is it? Is it this one? Um, yeah, that's the one. Oh, oh, it doesn't even match up the way I hoped it would. Oh, it's way too big, actually. Oh, by the way, oh no, um, hmm, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, but the thing is, it... I don't, you know, you know what, I'm, I'm not using this one, I'm going to use the bigger one later and, and just, just use it all over the place. But I wanted to have some detail in and I'm hoping to use this piece over here, which is, it seems at least, the right size. There we go. And if we just match up the red now over here and get in with a little bit green, greener, greenish tint even darker there we go and this can be a again red so here we go it looks no it looks like a cross in here I don't really like it no I don't really like it so maybe using icings I don't know if, if icings could make sense I mean obviously we could also use this one but that looks way too Japanese for me I, I still want to make sure that this old thing a uh, whole thing looks a bit more Hawaiian so I think this is Basically, this can this can totally count as a Hawaiian thing, but the other one is too Asian looking. I still have some ideas, though. We could actually try to... Wow, this one is super... How big is that? Um, all right, anyways. Uh, what about these pieces? Bring these in. These could work like a nice detail on, on here. Um, maybe even those ones. Just move it slightly in. Uh, and then just use it as a greenish color, I guess. Hmm. Not too sure though. Maybe, maybe not. No, I guess not. This is too long. That's also too long. What about this piece? This is no. That's not the one I wanted. Um. All right. I think we're just trying to see where this is leading. If we're just making this white using the red ish over here and you know stars are not too bad why not, why not use stars but I want to have them more like this kind of yellowish and just move this completely upwards I guess is it both side yeah it's, it's double sided so it's okay um, does it work does it fit in totally or is it sticking on no it's not okay that would at least work so if we push this in like that and then we have to I think that's why wor that's working that's working I, I'm just doubting okay we're definitely gonna go with this one and maybe making those greenish no no we just keep this color but making it a bit more like that yeah I think that's what I want cool so we're just keeping these pieces together yes obviously this is destroyed um, can you just give me I just used the little pillar though uh, I think everything else would just make no sense. Um, here's the pillar, thank you. Just just make the grid size smaller. And boom, there we go. I don't care now. Um, do we... Okay, this works actually. We could just move this a little bit better into position. Which is again about here-ish, I guess. There we go. We could move that in so that people can go straight in here and just go out here and then just make another gate over there, but 
you know, that's just for the moment. Um, just put these things all in. Yeah, I guess we, we keep that gate open, open over here and we're definitely gonna have something else as kind of a, a fence or a wall back there. Just not, don't need to pay any attention to this now. Um, and I'm just I'm just gonna delete the whole thing over here. Cool. So we have this. This is done. Now let's oopsie, use this thing. The angle step still uh, snap. Angle step. Angle snap still activated. So we can just make sure that this works. Cool. One. And now let's bring this over to the side. One, two. And okay, we're gonna use a smaller one in here. And the smallest one to just finish off this area. So, how high are those walls? Okay, they have a great height. You can actually, you can watch over these ones, but they're not as high, they're not too high, so it's pretty okay. Um, what is this though? I, I really don't like how this whole thing just goes into each other. I think we are just keeping that open in the back side of it. I, I think that's the better solution to it. Uh, and then obviously there's also some defighting going on, but we, we just can do it in a different way. I, I believe so. we can do it in a different way. Anyways, what we are doing right now obviously is, whoopsie, I should just move this thing in and just rotate it and put these, whoops, why did I just copy the whole building? That was a little bit optimistic, I would say. Okay, we are just placing them all in here. And as you can see, we definitely need some flexi color options because that looks super weird for the moment. Uh, also need to make sure that we can later on reposition them and just, yeah, I don't know. Uh, we also will need some strollers. So not only um, having wheelchairs over here. What is going on today? I'm just doing weird stuff. Okay, so these ones can also go together here okay this one is going to be deleted so you have a few you know you have you have a few of those here I would basically also put some um, strollers in the middle um, and one very last thing I'm going to do now and oh, we are well over 30 minutes already I didn't really want to make it that long but I think it's worth it um, is it no it's not um, it's called canopy I guess there we go uh, vintage canopy, I guess, yes, we are going to use the vintage canopy and we're going to use the color scheme we used all over the place and make this kind of Hawaiian looking. I think this red could be a bit more red. There we go. Um, and yeah, and we're just putting this one down here. The other one we can just go. Is it? Okay, we just need to do it like that down here so here we go and definitely we're gonna have a sign here in front of this building uh, this fence of oh, building oh, what am I even talking about um, in front of here we're gonna have a sign and then uh, make sure that this area looks good but we are already at the end of this episode um, and I think we are just yeah, we're just making great progress guys um, so obviously we're also going to there is one yeah this is the one I wanted to put this just on in here just just for the reason of having this for the night uh, in front of the nice background oh yeah that's gonna work definitely okay cool so guys um have an amazing sunday hope to see you in tomorrow's stream because i'm gonna have a live stream for sure and uh yeah i hope you enjoy this model of the wheelchair you can grab it from my workshop it's already online and a flexi collar and a push together version will uh, follow soon until then have a great evening and see you in the next episode and as always if you liked the video give it a like as always make sure to give some feedback and as always if you haven't subscribed yet do so and we're gonna see each other in the next video bye bye